Let's face it, these white Tesla seats have seen a lot. This is actually my second Tesla that I got in 2017, currently has just under 62,000 miles on it. Now, while I no longer own it, Scott does, he has been driving it lately, and this seat has actually not been cleaned in a year. And it was white, keyword being was, because it is pretty nasty to say the least. It's pretty disgusting. But we're gonna see today, can we fix this? Can we clean this back to that beautiful day one white as it was when I received this car? Or will there be stains? So like I said, I picked this car up in 2017. This is my second Tesla that we purchased, which is kind of crazy to think about considering we are now on number 14. But I absolutely love the white interior. I think it looks really slick. I think it looks really, really good, but it will show some dirt and grime because black just hides everything like that. But would I be scared of getting white seats because of that? No. And we're gonna kind of go over exactly what I do to clean this and see if we can even get this back to its normal shiny white self. I'm actually going to put a piece of tape down the middle and we're gonna clean one side, not the other. And that way we can really see, did we do anything? So we're gonna go ahead and tape down the middle of the seat. And you know what, we're even gonna do the back of it too, just to see how dirty back there is. Now Scott doesn't really wear blue jeans too much. He does occasionally, but he wears mainly like, kind of like suit type pants and stuff like that. So if you have blue jeans, just be careful because the darker the blue jean, the more likelihood that it will stain. And then all I'm going to use are the cheapest Amazon unscented non-perfume baby wipes. Literally the cheapest baby wipes I could find. And these are them. So I even, based off last time's video, some people had doubt, so we didn't even open this one yet. I'm opening it now. There will be no cuts in this part of the video because I don't want people to think we are doing something sketchy. So I guess I'm just gonna clean off that little coffee stain right there. So it might take a couple wipes, but I mean, ew, look at that. We need to clean the car more often, Scott. <laughs> And keep in mind, this interior has not been ceramic coated. There has been no coating ever applied to these seats. This was straight factory, nothing ever applied. Now, we absolutely love the white interior because I think it looks the best. My opinion, some people disagree, but that's why we have options in life. But I think the white looks so, so good. You just have to wipe it down occasionally. I mean, technically you should be wiping down your black seats as well because they also get stained. You just won't really be able to see it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and clean over here as well. Now this right here tends to be where most people will see blue jean stain. And actually I can kind of already see there is a little bit of a blue hue right here. So we're gonna see if we can get that out. And so, got a new wipe. Ooh, that's so disgusting. Get the side of it. Actually, I need to clean this so I have a place to put my hand. Even this is nasty. We need to give this one a good once over detail. Okay, I think that is pretty good. Now, moment of truth. We'll go ahead and just tear it here. We'll do the back of the seat afterwards. That is what it looked like before. Anyway though, you can see with literally just the cheapest baby wipe, and most people have baby wipes. I mean, I actually don't even have kids and I still have baby wipes around the house because they do make really easy cleanup of everything. 
Now, the one thing I would definitely try to avoid is the magic erasers that some people have talked about online. While they might seem great, they actually clean by doing little micro abrasions in the surface. And so if you use those on a seat like this, you're gonna end up actually making it harder for yourself in the future because future stains are gonna not come out as easily. So I would definitely stay away from those magic erasers. While they're great on walls and everything in your house, I probably would not be using them on my car interior. Now, the one thing I'll say right off the bat, and hopefully you guys can see this in the camera, this stitching right here is a much wider, still a little gray than this. This stitching is not as white. And then if you look at kind of on the side bolsters, which I'll show you in just a second, that stitching is much wider. For the back of the seat, we are going to do much of the same thing. Just wipe all that grime away. Make sure you can kind of see the tape actually left a little bit of a line. The tape removed a lot of the stuff off the back of the seat. Back of the seats aren't nearly as bad because they don't have all that downward force really. So back of the seats almost never get super bad. But there we go. We have cleaned the back and the base and they look much better. Okay, so that's pretty much it cleaning the white interior. As you can see, it really does clean up well. The only thing is the stitching might not always clean the greatest. Now I have a few things I wanna try on the stitching. So I'm gonna try those first and I will get back to you on that. I've been very happy with the white interior. We've had almost all of our Teslas with the white interior, this one being the longest that we've owned and kept in the household. But I will continue buying the white interior. I absolutely love the look of it. Now some people, I understand it might not be for you, but it does clean up well and I see a lot of questions all the time asking me how do the seats hold up? How do you clean them? What do you do? The cheapest baby wipes basically that you can get work out really, really well to keep them looking clean. Even if you wipe it, just a quick wipe once a week, that will really help. Now, on the Model S Long Range, the 2022, I wanna try to do something different with that. So we will actually be ceramic coating the white interior. I wanna see if I can keep that stitching looking pure white through its age and not kind of uh, like a grayish, almost black look as the stitching is here because the stitching doesn't clean up as easily. Now I'm gonna try some things to clean the stitching on this car, but let me try those first and I will record video of it publish it at a later date if it works and if it doesn't work, I guess. But I wanna to try to get that stitching white again because it really does look good. But other than that, super happy with the white interior. I don't know, comment down below and let me know what color interior do you prefer. Now, the only ones you really won't see anything on are black interior. That being said though, it is still staining, you just can't see it. But the cream interior will also get this kind of grime build up. But I'll go ahead and list the baby wipes I use down below. It is literally the cheapest ones I can find on Amazon and you can check them out and purchase those if you would like. But that's basically it for this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. As always, huge thanks to our channel sponsor, Abstract Ocean. If you are looking to accessorize your model SX3 or Y, definitely check them out. All linked down below and using code Tesla inventory will get you 15% off of your first purchase. So many fun, useful, and cool accessories really help create your car your own as well as protect it which is huge in the world of Tesla. You wanna protect your investment. Hope you guys enjoyed it though. Definitely a thumbs up. If you did, go and click here to subscribe. Here for smaller ones, and we'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.